Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Steven and today I'm going to show you how to fix your internet connection in a Hetzner root server. Now this may be a little more of a niche video but who we are trying to help in this video is people who have set up a server, a root server or a dedicated server at Hetzner and they may have experienced the problem that while they can have incoming connections to the server like over SSH or FTP or whatever you want to configure you may notice that on the server you don't have outgoing internet connections for example you can serve the web or you can download updates or things like that now there are two aspects to this to this problem and the first one I can't demonstrate to you or rather I'm, I choose not to show you because it will depend on your system that you set up but the first thing you need to check is whether you are using the correct DNS servers. Now this is purely like the first aspect of solving this problem is making sure that you have set up the correct DNS servers. You may have the habit of setting up your own DNS servers that you prefer like Google's DNS 8.8.8.8 or something else but it appears like Hetzner changed something and I'm not a hundred percent sure and it's not documented but it appears that they have made changes to their network and their settings so that you can only use their own DNS servers as the outgoing DNS server. So that means that you have to set up their DNS server instead of your own. There is a knowledge base article on what their IP addresses are I'm going to add that in the description if you have those addresses you can manually configure it or you can choose to let them assign you an IP address and a DNS server and then that should resolve the problem immediately. The second aspect to the problem why you don't have an internet connection might, might be the Hetzner firewall. In case you don't know where you can access that but I hope that you do because this is more for people that are already familiar with their Hetzner server a little bit you have to go to the robot console which may look like this this is the Hetzner robot panel and then if you go to servers and you click on the server name you then have a tab all the way to the right called firewall and by default this firewall may be disabled and that might probably solve your connection problem but if you have it active which I would recommend then you have to make sure that you add a specific rule on top of the rules for the incoming connections that you want to allow and that the reason is that this Hetzner firewall is very basic it, when it sees incoming packages it just filters them and it doesn't really look at the source so what happens is I'm not sure how familiar you are with networking but let's say that you want to browse the internet um, what happens then is that you send an outgoing package a request to the server like to Google let's say we go to Google and that's fine that works fine because outgoing the connections aren't filtered but then that package has to be sent back to you and now normally that shouldn't be a problem or that is how Hetzner that is how it used to be but with this firewall by Hetzner once it is enabled it will then block the packages so that you will never get your reply so what you need to do is set up a rule that allows these types of replies to come back and you can see that rule down below it is called TCP established I have borrowed that for the from a template and what you want to enter is source IP is left blank destination IP is also left blank and same goes for source port and for destination port you will enter the port range which is 32,786 to port 65,535 and for protocol you'll have to select TCP and then you'll have to click the TCP flex area and type ACK and then of course 
for action you said accept and then save that firewall rule and once that is done you will have these outgoing connections that are working again now you could also do this another way you could also disable the firewall and just you know filter traffic uh, using your own firewall whether that is windows firewall or a linux based firewall in that case this doesn't apply to you and you can just leave it on disabled but if you have the firewall active which i would highly recommend especially on windows servers you have to accept to establish that rule now if you don't want to type everything out that i just said here there is also and you don't have any rules yet because what i'm showing you it will delete your rules what you could do if you don't have any rule set, let me re repeat that. You could select the first rule here under firewall template and you could select SSH and then apply. That would also create this rule for you and a few others which you could then delete. And if you then save that, you would accomplish the same thing. So there is two parts to fixing your outgoing internet connection. The first one is making sure you have set up the correct DNS servers, which you will find in the description. You will find the link to the Nosbage article there. And secondly, you will have to also make sure that your incoming packages as a response aren't blocked. Now, the part where this got me confused was that they say they don't block outgoing access and I'm kind of used to the idea that that also means that the incoming packages are, are filtered. I guess I'm used to working with different types of firewalls, you know. But I hope that this helps you and uh, I hope it helps you set up your Hetzner server so that you can become really productive soon. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on like this. They are not all going to be about Hetzner, but you know, we cover tech things. So if that's your thing, you can subscribe. Um, that's it for this video. I'm signing off. Bye.